Hey, my name is Matt and I'm a financial planner. And today I want to introduce you to a concept called the financial life cycle. This line represents zero net worth. That's if you sold everything you owned and paid off all your debts and had the clothes on your back. And this line represents eh, somewhat the natural progression for your financial life cycle. So this, this part here is your easiest time in your financial life. It's kind of where, it's what makes young kids cool. They don't know if they're rich or they're poor. And as a parent, you buy them a gift and they play with the box and then you do the same thing the next holiday. Um, you've got a roof over your head and you, your, your life is, is taken care of. And then all of a sudden, you go into debt. And uh, nobody likes to talk about debt. It's very taboo, but things that put you into debt are lifestyle, uh, credit cards, college, a mortgage, getting married, kids, kids going to college, maybe a retirement home or a beach house. Also, what we don't like to see, don't get divorced. It's really expensive, although it's part of life sometimes. Uh, through here, we want to make sure that it feels like you're never going to get out of debt. And, uh, but here we want to make sure we're doing a, a retirement plan or 401, 401k if it's offered for you. And uh, if you qualify and it works for your situation, you might want to do a Roth IRA investment wise. Um, it still feels like you're never going to get out of debt and that's okay. And we might want to look at maybe a term life insurance policy where you can, uh, you'd have some coverage in case uh, something bad were to happen. When I meet with the old blue haired people over here, they look back on this time in their life as one of the happiest in their lives because it's a sense of accomplishment. And that's, that's a pretty cool thing. Not everybody does get through their financial life successfully. Uh, here's where your assets begin to outweigh your debts. Uh, it's not that you sell everything off or anything. It's just if you took what you owned and you subtracted out what you owe, it would be more of a positive number. Uh, and then this dot is where you'd uh, retire. You'd start living off your uh, your savings along with, uh, so you'd live off retirement income, uh, social security, and, uh, and our hope is that that line does not pass that line. And so we do that through proper financial planning. Um, over here, you also look at possibly life insurance for estate planning. Uh, as we film this, that that uh, minimum is is just under 11 million for a couple. So there's not a long line of people that that need life insurance for estate planning at this point. Uh, but it's something to keep an eye on, and I, I want you to know about. And we also want to visit long-term care before this to make sure we have looked at it as as long-term care and care facilities are very expensive. And then investment-wise, we want to go as aggressive as possible. Uh, all the way to more conservative. So, uh, so yeah, that's your financial life cycle. I love the financial life cycle because I feel like it puts your financial life into perspective. So hopefully this is some good news for you and your family, and hopefully you can use some of this information for your own financial life. And as always, we're, we're here to help if we can. And uh, have a great day.